Hey everybody, Ben, Somerville Gardener, and today I am talking about bananas. It's a little humid out here. Ooh. Let's see if we can get that fixed. There we go. That's a little better. So one of the first bananas that I got was a black Thai or a Thai black banana. This banana is really cool because it's got this deep purple pseudo stem going up and it gives you some really cool color patterns as it's going up. It also has some very big dark green leaves. My apologies for them being a little tattered due to the recent tropical storm that went through. I've seen a few sources online that'll say that these bananas right here are going to be about five or six inches long and full of large black seeds that make it pretty much inedible. But then I've heard from other sources that say that this is an edible banana, that it may have some seeds in it, but they are good bananas to eat. So I'm just gonna have to wait and see. And more than likely, I'm gonna have to wait until next year, unfortunately. The second banana variety that I have is an apple banana. This specific banana type right here was somewhat difficult for me to find, and it appears to have a very similar trunk to some of the other bananas where you get your nice little uh, pinks and greens down at the base, and then it moves up to a nice bright green pseudo stem. And again, I've only had this one for one year so far, but I am very much looking forward to tasting some of the bananas from this one because I've had apple bananas before and they are awesome. A little small, but you know, just eat two or three. The third banana variety that I have here is by far my longest standing banana patch. And similar to the apple banana, it's got some really cool pinks and greens going up the pseudo stem and it has very nice large green foliage. Now these bananas I have had before. They have fruited for me twice before. Only once was really all that edible. But the bananas were about five to six inches long and very sweet and very delicious. And I'm pretty sure that if I crawl back in through here, it is definitely starting to look like a jungle down through here. Yes, I have right there what looks like to be one banana flower about to pop out. And I am really looking forward to that one. But that's not all. I've got more on the other side. We'll get over to those here in just a minute though. The fourth variety that I have is the Saba banana. And I've got a few of these going. And these are now two years old. Uh, they all died back to the ground though here in uh, zone 9A. Really cool shot of the, uh, ooh yeah, look at that. Look at all that gooey stuff. You know what that is? Drop it in the comments if you know what this thing is. I love the smell of this stuff. It's a little slimy and gooey though. Ew. So the Saba bananas uh, I've had for two years, they died back to the ground, but these guys right here are all about a year old and I believe they're just getting too much shade from the tree around it and the other bananas. So hopefully I can get over here on the other side, some of these uh, Sabas to be growing up nice and big because I'd like to have a good Saba banana. That's a, it's not a dessert banana, it's a cooking banana, but honestly, it's my favorite one to be making banana chips out of. Hey guys, if you like going through the jungles with new creators on new channels, I would really like it if you hit that like and subscribe button because it really does a small channel like this a lot of good. Now over here on the other side, I've got another one, two, three, yes, yeah, six more uh, stands of bananas here. And as I've looked down through here, back here in the second row, yes we are gonna have us another banana flower right there off of that one. And over here on this banana, I was looking at this one yesterday, and yep, it's gonna have another flower going right here too. So that's now three banana flowers that I've found. Let me see if I can find any more. Nope, I believe all the rest of them are going to be not flowering just yet. Yeah, spider webs. Ah, spider webs everywhere. Yeah. So here's another six stands of bananas in addition to the four stands that I've got over there. And these are the, uh, the blue javas. I can't believe that I didn't put that in there before. That stand right there, blue java bananas. Missed that one. Sorry about that. So I've got a total of 10 stands of blue java bananas. This is my second stand right here of the apple banana. No, there's already two of them over there. So this would be number three right here. And this one right here is my final variety of banana. And it is a, hang on a second, I gotta think about this one. Rajapuri. Rajapuri, that's what it's called. So this is my Rajapuri. And the one thing that I noticed on this one is just how thick the pseudo stem is growing. This is by far, as far as its height goes, that is definitely the thickest pseudo stem of them. So that's gonna be pretty cool. That Rajapuri and that Apple banana were both planted at the same time. And you can kind of see the size difference in the two of those. 
Raja Puri is growing either a little bit slower or it's just a more of a smaller compact variety, I believe. And then by far my biggest banana is right back over here. And that's gonna be another one of these black Thai bananas or Thai black bananas. And it is right there. That is a six foot fence. So I'm gonna say that it's about 10 feet to the top of the, uh, where the leaves are coming out. At, right up here is about 10 feet and it's probably another six or eight feet taller than that. So that is definitely a very large banana. So it really does look like I'm gonna have a few different types of bananas to sample here shortly. Hopefully it won't be too much longer to where I'll be able to give you guys a taste test of the blue java bananas or hang on, there's another name for those. Oh yeah, it's called the ice cream banana. I'm not really sure how much it tastes like ice cream, but then again, I've never frozen one to see if I could make a, some sort of a frozen treat out of it. So that may be something that I need to do to sample some frozen bananas. Ooh, maybe dip them in some chocolate. So keep those thumbs green, pests away, and know that you are appreciated. Keep watching to see just how bananas I get. Now, for those of you that stuck around here till the end, I'm gonna give you a quick update also on my red Malaysian guava. Looks like that one is about ready. Yep, it's given just a little bit. That one's about ready to pick. And here's a second one over here, not quite as close. Let's take a look though with those bananas just one day later. It's kind of surprising just how quickly these flowers pop out of here. And here you go, here's the first one. There's that flower popping out right through there. And let's take a look over here at the second one. It just looks like a big old ear of corn poking up still, but it has gotten up just a little bit taller because it was only poking out about yay far yesterday. Very cool. And once again, keep those thumbs green, pass away, and know that you are appreciated.